Hi, Tony here at Views from the Man Cave. Uh, just got back from the bike shed in Paris. Um, if you've had a chance to have a look online, uh, please do so. There's some un incredible bikes there uh, this weekend. A really good, uh, really good weekend. Uh, but to keep myself awake, I thought I would fit my um, bar in mirrors now that the finishing kit has arrived. So thank you to the guys at Jack Lilly for ordering that quickly and getting those in the post for me. Uh, so they were here when I arrived home. Um, I've just popped those on now so I can give you a quick spin around the bike and uh, let you have a look at them uh, now they're in place. Okay, here we go. Uh, so as you can see, it does create a much lower look to the whole bike. Um, the, there's a little close-up of the finishing kit, which is the bit I was waiting for, which I think should have been in the in the kit itself but uh, uh, it isn't but there you go um, and also as I spoke to you had this arrangement here on one side uh, obviously this one uh, the this holds the brake master cylinder in place but there's one of these on the other side for the mirror and I just replaced that with a standard one from a 675 which doesn't have the post for a much neater look um, once I work out what I'm going to do uh, with this arrangement, then um, we'll have a look at that. But uh, I think you'll probably agree, let's have a closer look from the front. Um, it does give the bike a much cleaner, lower look and uh, better vision uh, from the rear as well. Uh, so there you have it. The bar end mirrors with the finishing kit are now fitted. Um, I think it uh, it looks nice on the bike. The mirrors are a little bit big. They're certainly bigger than the ones that I had on the Moto Guzzi and I could see very well out of those. But the finish is very nice. The rearward vision is really good. You could potentially, I uh, haven't tried it yet, fit the mirrors upside down, but I think the arms are a little bit long, too long to do that. You'd have to have them uh, leaning quite a way away from you with the mirrors turned back um, so that they avoid the tank on full lock um, and your arms getting away as well. So uh, they're not ideally suited for that, but you could potentially do that if you wanted to get away with one. So anyway, thanks for that. Thanks for the continued subscribers. The numbers are picking up. Uh, so if you like this, click subscribe to see more that's coming through. There's quite a bit of bits and pieces that I'll be doing over the coming weeks uh, to the bike as well as the usual gear reviews. So I'll be posting some pictures from this week's Bike Shed Show in Paris. Uh, on the website in the next couple of days so uh, if you fancy that go and have a look the website itself is uh, is my name it's tonywalters.com uh, at some point we may change that but um, uh, at the present that's where you need to go uh, to see that but there's links uh, as I say in the notes below thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon cheers bye <laughs>